found the biggest scorpion. I think we gotta do a stink test. Here we go, buddy. Come here. Oh. Don't wanna take a sting yet. Ah. Here, I gotta corner him, I gotta corner him. Here we go. All right, here we go, ready. I got him, can I see a shot? Got it. One, two, three. Oh, yeah. Ah, yeah, they can pinch, they can pinch really good. Ah, he's pinching me. When they pinch you, your first instinct is to let go of that tail. And that's exactly what the scorpion wants. So it can wield that stinger and inflict a painful punch. Oh, but you just gotta fight through it. Eventually he'll relax and realize he's been caught. But look at the size of that scorpion. That is one serious arachnid. Let's see just how painful the giant hairy scorpion really is. Oh boy, would you take a look at that. Look at the size of that scorpion. And it is time for another sting test, this time with America's largest scorpion, the giant desert hairy. Now we found the scorpion just feet away, right here at our Airbnb in Tucson, Arizona. In fact, check this out. We have a, we have a live studio audience today. Try to keep it down, guys. The giant desert hairy scorpion earns its name because it is truly giant. Most scorpions out here are a fraction of the size of this one. This is a truly huge arachnid with a stinger that is also giant. And this is a species that you would come across. If you lived in Arizona or you're out here adventuring, this is certainly an animal that can end up inside your house. I wanna take a sting today to show you just how severe the sting from this scorpion truly is. And then we will know once and for all whether or not we need to be afraid of this hairy arachnid. We're also going to rank this sting on three factors, intimidation, pain, and aftermath, scoring each from one to 10. And then we will average the total to see where this scorpion rates on the brand new and official Brave Wilderness Bite Sting Index. Boy, it is fired up and aggressive already. Holy cow, look at those pinchers. This scorpion is big enough to actually give you a sizable pinch. So when I first pick it up today, I'm gonna get walloped right off the bat. Now, before I get stung, let's talk about some of the things I brought with me for the test today. I brought with me some sting kill, but I have never used sting kill on any of my sting tests before. So I thought, hey, it's in my pack. Let's give it a shot with today's scorpion sting to see if this sting antidote actually relieves the pain from a scorpion. And then of course, I always bring with me my first aid kit along with my EpiPen. Just in case I have some sort of severe allergic reaction to this venom, the EpiPen will save me in time to get to emergency services. So I always carry an EpiPen. Never attempt to do what I'm about to do. This is not a good idea. Yes, I think this is going to hurt very badly. Please do not attempt to do what you're about to see. I am definitely nervous. I am always nervous before I take a sting from a species for the first time because until you take the venom firsthand, you never really know how bad it's going to be. So with that, I think it's time to get hands on and release the beast. You guys ready? Got the shot? Okay. Careful. Whoa. Now I have to grab the scorpion without taking the sting. Man, it's fast. I'm gonna use this platform to help keep it on the table. All right, so the object here is to not get stung before I'm ready, but in order to tail the scorpion, I need to grab segment right behind the telson, which is the stinger. And this is a one-shot deal. If you do this wrong, you are getting stung almost instantly. All right, ready? One, two, three. Got him. And then he's gonna try to pinch me those big pinchers. Nice. Yeah, he's got his pincher on me there, oh, right under my skin. Now, I have a good grip, and we can talk about how the scorpion feels. Its exoskeleton is very rigid and hard, almost as hard and tough as a crab or a lobster. So I am by no means gonna squish or hurt the scorpion by holding it like this. And yes, those pinchers can give you a wallop of a pinch. Ah, yeah. Mm, one more time for good measure. Now, another kind of interesting thing 
is the face of the scorpion. You can see it has some eyes right here at the sides and it has eyes right there in the center, similar to a spider. It gets its name, the giant desert hairy, not only because it's giant in size, but because it's also hairy. You can see the hairs off of all the appendages and you can really see the hairs coming off the tip of the stinger there, you see that? And those hairs help the scorpion sense its environment. This is an arachnid having eight legs related to spiders, but of course it has a much different defense mechanism than a spider. Spiders use fangs to inject venom. Scorpions inject venom with the stinger on their tail. Okay, I think it's time to talk about the business end of the scorpion. But before I put that stinger to the ultimate test, I'm super excited to tell you about Raid Shadow Legends, the sponsor of this adventure and a favorite game of Brave Wilderness. Raid has got some of the best graphics around, brutal boss battles, deep tactical gameplay, and hundreds of champions, including new mythical champions. And the mythical champion rarity are exactly that, switching between two forms using their unique metamorph skill. A mythical champion's two forms both use the same artifacts, accessories, masteries, and blessing. So be careful when you're choosing how to use them. These mythical champions are the most versatile champions ever seen in Raid, and you can now tailor to your playstyle and create synergies across both forms. Raid's latest update is the new Clan League and Clan Insignia feature. Customize your own super awesome logo and work together with your clan mates to earn shiny clan stars that'll decorate your insignia. And don't forget about Prime Gaming Drops in-game, so Amazon Prime members can earn themselves some special in-game goodies. What are you waiting for? Click the link in the description or scan the QR code to get some insane bonuses, including an epic champion and drink. Now it's time to get back to the sting test. The sting of the giant desert hairy is delivered by the tip of the stinger, the telson, which has a venom gland within it that delivers its venom like a hypodermic needle. And this animal uses its sting as a means of defense and predation. This scorpion will be out hunting at night once it finds a prey item, which would be other small insects, arachnids, or even a small lizard, it would grapple it with those large pinchers and then inflict a painful sting, subduing its prey so they could be eaten alive. But in this sting test, it will be using its stinger as a defense mechanism against my hand, just like any would-be predator. Okay, it's time to go hand to stinger with America's largest species of scorpion. You guys ready? We're ready, Mark. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm going to cover the scorpion with my hand, my left hand, and I'm going to release the stinger. When I do that, this scorpion is going to instantly go into defense mode and rapidly sting me with that tail. And I can tell you right now, this scorpion is fired up. It is ready to go. It's pinched me multiple times and it means business. You guys ready for this? I'm looking at the tip of that stinger right now. On three, one, two, three. Ah, ah, he's pinching me. Ah, no. ah, oh, oh my God, it's the venom spray, did you see that? Oh, ah, ah. oh it's stuck there. Oh. Ah, oh, I had to pull the stinger out, it was stuck under my skin, and I got sprayed by venom. Did you guys see that pool of venom? Oh my gosh. Oh, all right here, I gotta put this, I gotta put this back. Oh, oh, oh yeah, that was a full burst. Oh, I definitely got dosed and it burns. You see it's already starting to get red around my knuckle. Mm, it's starting to burn really bad. Hang on. Oh yeah. I cannot believe how much venom just sprayed out of the tail like that. I didn't know it could spray and it does burn, holy smokes. Yeah, this whole area is a little inferno right there, all around my knuckles. Man, mm, that is so much different than I expected it to be. I expected the stinger to just pop, like whap me. It like scooped up underneath my skin and I had to literally pull the stinger out. Oh man, that burns. Yeah, that burns real good. Okay, it's been about five minutes and you can see that I'm definitely getting some swelling going. Uh, we're gonna continue to monitor this sting, but now it's time to officially rank this sting. For an intimidation factor, seeing that huge tail jab me over and over and all that venom spraying out was super intimidating, so I give it an eight out of 10. The pain 
With somewhere between a hornet and a bee sting, I'd rate it a four out of 10. For the aftermath, it wasn't so bad. The pain afterwards is very manageable, especially after applying some sting kill. So I give it only a three out of 10. Combined, this scorpion rates at a 4.3 on the brand new official Brave Wilderness Bite Sting Index. That is, that is easily the gnarliest sting I have ever taken in terms of seeing the stinger go in and get stuck. I've never had to pull a stinger out like that before. That was wild. But in terms of should we be afraid of this animal, I don't think we should be any more afraid of the giant desert hairy scorpion than we are of your common bee or wasp. Don't forget to click the link in the description to get insane bonuses, including an epic champion Drake.